It's much more aligned to just like laser camp where he needs to make really good use of Falco's uh, good aerial movement. I like how he moves a lot. I was about to bring that up. He, because a lot of Falco, as I was saying, the run up, look, or, look for the, the parry and then up tilt. Because that's pretty much the character's lifeblood is hitting up tilt. His up tilt is so good. Man. And there it is, hitting the up tilt right away. Only 22. They've been doing the up tilt <laughs> by the stream. You gotta move your wings. And the. Uh, so they picked up the win last time on Allen. Let's see if he can make it two. Quick two. Oh, those are some nice wins. This would be a hell of a win to pick up too. This is really deep in bracket. Yeah, this is getting to top four. Top four to Zeno Saga is uh, kind of nice. Nearly a hundred entrants, so like, yeah, it's decent. The saga is usually smaller than the weeklies because we're cheap. People decided <laughs> to come through. Yeah, they're definitely popping off. This is a lovely top eight. This is. This is a fun yeah. one. Good mix of NYC and LA. That's nice how it's got to be. Nah, I like can go drown. Hey, well, who's the winner's finals, boy? Yeah, they're hey. not going to win, though. My, oh. One of my boys got it. The pal who's got it online. <laughs> we got to get there first. So, Jet, he's, he's a bit behind. He's a, a bit, bit behind, yeah. but, like... I feel like he's doing nothing with every new shoulder. Yeah, no, he's just sort of, like, tapping till then. Yeah, just like one nair gets a down tilt. So I feel like he's not putting advantage good at all. But you know what? I take it back. We're right you back. You don't to need it. Who needs right a combo back. game? Just mash F smash. You're chilling. Uh oh. Nah, he's good. Psych. Wow. I didn't know Falco had throw combos. That. He's got. With oh, with the air dodge, that's gonna kill. I think he thought he was gonna have as much hit stun for buffer direction air dodge. You yeah, know, don't sleep on fair. That move is weird, but good. Yeah, it really has a nice landing mix-up because you get the, the extra hitbox when you land on the ground. Yeah, I always like to think it's Falco like timing. he's like biting you with his beak and some shit because like he's I on guess, the ground, yeah. he's not doing anything, but the hitbox is still very much active. Yeah, it's and you can drop shield between it, so you get it mixed up pretty well. Okay, right back to those up tilts, and that does pick up a kill confirm if he's close enough to the ledger later percent. You get up tilt back air, not facing the right way. Yeah, that's probably what Tilly's gonna be starting to look for at this point. Yeah, Falco's back air is really strong. Ooh! Wow, okay, Tilde with the nice two-stock. Convincing. Con definitely convincing. Honestly, it didn't look like Jen was all there for game one, to be honest with you. Because it's like, you, you you brought this up about how he wasn't really doing anything with the neutral act interactions he was winning. But, like, Slow look at this. Oh, baby. Yeah, just getting hit with Daryl. Really lazy recovery, honestly. I think he could do better than that. That was just kind of float downwards. But if there's any time for uh, for Tildy to ki catch Jen sleeping, it's now. Yeah, especially after that game one, really confident looking. That's basically a free game to win for Tildy. Especially because he won it. And like, he already has it. We take those. Alan already looking way cleaner than he did game <laughs> one, actually hitting a two hit combo. <laughs> My just woke Kinda up. crazy. But you know what, Tildy's not going down. He's not about it. It's like. Yeah, I think Tilde is more than proven in tonight's bracket that, like, if he's going to go down, he's going to go down with a fight. Yeah, all of his sets have been super close today, too. Really fun to watch. He's been... He turns it up. We got characters in here. We got two Falcos. Is there, is there one Falco anywhere else in the world? Like, honestly, they Pe don't exist. People claim that Keitaro plays Falco. Is Keitaro a person? Like that, I don't know. Or Enigma that can't run pools that don't last until 9 p.m. You be the judge. <laughs> judge. <laughs> we got it on paper, bro. We know it's up. There is no judgment. <laughs> Just facts, bro. You ain't wrong. What else is facts is that Jen has his lead here in game two. Chilling with three stocks until these two. But high percent could turn it around any moment. Yeah, Jen looking a lot more lively here in game two. And... Like, good on him for at least making sure to turn up quickly into it, because, like, right out the gate, he made game two look a lot more close of a fight. Even in fishing around for this down air, too. Like, this yeah, like going for the, the shmoney, you know? Angry Alan. that good stuff. Yeah, when Alan's playing Palu, you know he really wants to win. Like, it's just him playing his main, but that's what, if he's not playing Palu, that's what he's not trying to do. Oh, what a catch! Tilde, oh my god, I would be hurting so hard right now. Yeah, that one def that hits down to the soul. Yeah. Ooh, 
that up to the most hit, up to the top of the last zone. Not quite enough. Yeah, now this is the percentage window where like Tilde doesn't need any four play, just back air. Just get him. Yeah, you just he needs it. He's got him at the ledge right now, we could see it. Not really anything though, he cannot. Falco looks non-functional right now. <laughs> Why did he give such a slow fuck <laughs> up? Okay, that should be it. No, no, Falco. Oh my god. Fair definitely looks like it should kill at some point, but man. It's like doesn't. He must be needs to be so deep that up smash scooping behind way better than I thought it would. It, I mean it almost never hits in front, so it might as well hit somewhere. Yeah, the hitbox used to be so much bigger in Smash 4. It's now disappointing little, as hell in this game. I don't know how he bends his leg like that for it to be that small, <laughs> but like sure, Falco. Do these do what you do right now with these up airs gets mashed on. No, Tilde does not care that he's a stock down. He's moving right now. He knows what he needs. No, this is another man who needs that money. He's going like, for it, but Alan wants it a little bit more this game, too, it looks like. He's, he's just kind of faulting right now, honestly, though. Kind I of think, faulting right now that if there was either fair killing. I think it's just because Tilde has been so fluid with his movement. Like, as of the last, like, minute, I'd say. Okay, I think now that Alan's kind of regained his footing... This looks like it could be it really sloppy. What are you doing, Alan? What are you doing, Alan? Yo, he went to intercept the, the Falcon fire, but with himself? Like, what else is he going to put there? I mean, the auto reticle that he tried doing when it was too far out was a nice idea. Yeah, yeah. And he could have put an aerial out in front of it, but I mean, hey, I guess body block that. your face. Take it with your head. Uh oh. Falco's getting his juice. Why did that work? Yo, Falco Why did that juiced. read work? It was such a bad read. I hate you, Alan. <laughs> Let him know. How does that hit? That is top player privilege right there. That hitbox is so wonky, Every single too. time, every single time, he would have rolled through my shield. Because, like... Every single time. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that! That whole thing! Just swashed in there, yeah. Gross. Kind of crazy. Okay. Alan evens it up. Game of peace. Rolling into game three on Battlefield. All right. Um, not Frozen is Palu, so you can kind of pick it. This is a fantastic stage for Falco, too. Oh, yeah. Right, he two. gets to climb up. I'm curious to see how Tilde combos across this stage, because him and Kofi have very different styles of Falco. And... Tilde is kind of nice. Tilde is definitely nice. Tilde is nice. nice. Quick 103. These games are so different every time. It's pretty insane how different the pacing is. Zero to death. Oh my not god. Not even touched. Alan. This is not looking good for you, bud. See, I like sets like this, though, because these players are just waking up more and more. They realize they have to turn up the heat if they're trying to stay alive. So, like, Tilly started the set really well. Then, Jen responds really well. You can't really turn it up any harder than Tilde just did, starting out immaculately in the first stock. Yeah, but that is definitely top level right there. The question to go is, beyond. Like, like, where do we go from here? We got to see what Allen, if he can pull anything out game four. Maybe gets it out a little bit early right here. That teleport is so big, I don't know how he lives. That's kind of crazy. Palu's just allowed to return sometimes, man. Yeah, Palu has a pretty crazy recovery. Okay, Tilde hit that uh, two frame game one. Hasn't found anything here, though. Yeah, this is getting really rough. Pretty much a reverse of game two. Crossing up with the fair is a pretty interesting option. Sends him with that back here. Yeah, the fair cross up is really good, like how in the Palo ditto, neither Palo can punish the other person's in there. Falco's fair is pretty much the same function right there. So, a really I'll strong option. Yo, Tilde is missed down throw DI so often. I don't know how. And Alan is like almost never found the punish for it. There we go. That was that such a clean conversion. I mean, he can just DI out there and he'll never have to hold the mix. But, uh, yeah, pretty suboptimal there. He's, He's got to hold that one. Yeah. You got to learn how to DI. 2019. We don't miss DI anymore. There's a little blue light to help you. Yeah, follow the light. Looks like Navi or something. <laughs> But uh, even though Tilde kind of got messed up a little Ooh, bit. Let me get a third? Oh, not today. I wish I got the third. Like, if you're going to win this game, give me the triple dip, right? Absolutely. Give us the clip. That's what I'm trying to see. 
Oh my god, that almost killed center stage of like beneath the hundred. That is crazy. Okay, till they looking for one less clean conversion to wrap it all up. Okay, bet Allen. That down tilt definitely did look like it was gonna catch, but all right, he got it. That up smash was so pathetic. Wow. It, it, I'm telling you, dude, it's that so was bad. Sad. <laughs> oh, he gets clipped by that. Okay. Uh, Palutena has done crazier things before, but uh, let's see if Tilde can stop that from happening. He has missed every single one of these two frames, and it pretty much lets Palu back for free every time. I think they're really bad. I feel like he would be better off just going like, like going a little bit before the ledge and just waiting at this point. Yeah, just go for the ledge trap because a lot of your ledge trap options just start killing at 150. It's like, oh, I hit them with Nair at the ledge with Falco, so they die. Or they hit them with Fair at the ledge and they die. Or you up smash their bad dash attack out of shield and they die. That's just kind of how it goes. All right, so send the, uh, the game up on Jen. Uh, he's looking like he's in prime form to take the set. Yeah, from that game, you would definitely think so, but adaptations have been the story of the last couple of games, so let's see if Alan has an answer back. And bringing uh, us back to Smashville seems to be like Alan trying to refine his footing here. I definitely like Smashville for Pal. It's definitely one of her best stages. You have this smaller actual stage size, which means you have to deal with her pressure way more often. Why would you do that till day? You're a stoner. That's <laughs> side view. What the heck? Of course, Pal is going to jump, bro. Like, what are you? Sometimes what you just got to do it. But pa like do that against Olimar because he's gonna stand there and, like throw his Pikmin <laughs> against Palu. Palu's jumping every time. Look <laughs> from the ledge, jump off the platform, jump. Is it's a way it's? of life. She's got the Jordans. <laughs> Palu shoots. Auto radical seems like a weird option in this matchup. Well, it's it's like, like a weird option. The auto radical because it's like. We see how well Tilde is able to pressure from a distance. Finally gets what? that. That was so strong. This early lead could be the death of Jen. We see him breaking out the hard reads already. He just lost the stock and another quick 30 to boot. Single hit in there? Kind of dragged Paolo in a really weird way. Yeah, he found more after that. Uh oh, here we go. Gets the <laughs> up tilt, but not able to find it down here. Kind of a little bit greedy there. This just seems like such an odd matchup. Like, like it, it makes a lot of oh my god, it makes a lot of sense why, like Jen seems to struggle with catching Tilde because Tilde's just all over the place with his movement, and if he's not just moving around with a hitbox in Alan's face, there's just lasers everywhere keeping Alan from being able to jump all over. The lasers are okay keeping out the jump, but uh, once you get into like Falco's kind of squab zone where he's got a box with you, you know. Uh, lasers just kind of don't play a factor anymore. And that's where Palu's really good from. Yeah, it's that little zone like right before Palu's face, but like not within the explosive range area. Within short hop fade distance is pretty much Palu's scary range. Yeah. But Tilde's been doing a really good job of navigating out of that space. Like he's either right against her or on the other side of the stage. Someone's got a... Uh -oh. Who's got a pro controller? Who's going to get bodied? That'd be a sad way to lose. Your broken controller <laughs> dies off stage, game three. <laughs> ben broke controllers. Oh, kept them out of here, probably. Okay, stuffs him in the face. Uh, I just realized that Jen's on his last stock. Yeah. Tilde wants the upset. Like, he's been playing like he wants it, man. Or does he want to die? I mean, he's also been choosing a couple options, like, that's the way to go. But, like, yeah, he's shooting the gun. Why is he a wolf player all of a sudden? Sometimes Did he just call the landing turn to up tilt? Almost got it again. Yeah, that is what really put him ahead in this game one. That returning back air two frame. Nothing off of the weak back air. Yeah, that was like the latest of back air. Okay, this is looking pretty much over for Allen. Okay, he gets the tech that time. Can't be missing techs to win. No double jump. Air dodge out. Yeah, Jen's on borrowed time right now. If he's going to do anything with this set, he's got to make it happen, like, right now. Yeah, we need a quick stock take and some crazy combo that you can never see coming. Matilde so just ready to sit back and wait for a really bad approach. He's big chilling. Like, Falco's allowed to zone. He has the tools for it. And we've seen is that. Is that going to be it? No, that's not back here. There's like, a back there. There it is. Tilde over Jen. Wow.
I'm surprised. That's a pleasant surprise, because I was honestly expecting Jen to take things back, but nonetheless, it's going to be Tildy moving on to fight Frozen in loser yeah, semifinals. Down to one Palu in the 